Okay, this is going to be one of the most important YouTube videos that I film on my channel. And this is going to help you understand why 95 to 99% of dieters regain all the weight that they lost and what you can do to prevent you from having that same fate. Almost everybody knows how to lose weight. Almost everybody has lost weight at some point in their lives. And most people lose weight multiple times in their lives. So it's not really so hard to crack that part of the puzzle it's really about consistency in maintaining your new optimal ideal body weight and this is where people struggle they struggle to maintain it this is due to metabolic adaptation i'm going to tell you all about it and how you can prevent that from happening to you but first i do want to shout out ana luisa jewelry as you can see i'm always wearing their jewelry pieces and i'm so glad i just received their summer swag and I just wanted to share how amazing the pieces that they've been sending me for years now have held up. They don't tarnish, they're hypoallergenic, and Ana Luisa Jewelry conducts multiple tests to, and inspections to make sure that they are creating the highest quality jewelry that is long lasting. It's really cool that now they're so confident in the quality of their jewelry that they're offering a two-year warranty as opposed to the one-year warranty that they used to have. I have so many favorite pieces. You can see this herring bone or a snake. It's called herring bone um, necklace. I wear it all the time. I have it in gold. I've been wearing it for months. You've been seeing me wearing it. And now I got it also in silver. And also this moon and star earring pair i had it i've had this for years now in gold and i also got it now in silver and i wear it all the time i just make sure that i follow the care instructions so i make sure i'm not taking showers in it or going into the ocean and in it and you know putting on lotions and cologne and perfume and all that kind of stuff so you really want to be careful from having chemicals coming into contact with that jewelry. Outside of that, it is very long lasting. It's not gonna change color. And even if some water gets on, it's not the end of the world, but just like the big things you wanna pay attention to, like cologne and lotions and things like that. This is another favorite piece of mine. It's uh, a layered necklace. You've seen me wear this in silver and you can see I just got it now in gold. And this is a herringbone bracelet that goes with my gold herringbone necklace that is just like this only in gold. So yeah, check them out and use my coupon code that's showing up on the screen here to get you a discount. I will also make sure that I link my discount code in the description box below. Now, going back to metabolic adaptation. Metabolic adaptation is when your body senses that there is a caloric deficit that's happening. It senses that you are burning more calories than what you are ingesting. And the more extreme the caloric deficit, meaning the greater the caloric deficit and for the longer period of time, the more your body fights that so that you don't waste away. It thinks there's a famine or starvation that's happening. So it starts to slow down the amount of calories that it spends. So all of a sudden you find yourself a little bit more lethargic, fatigue, fatigued. You're not doing a lot of fidgeting or unnecessary movements. And all of that is reducing the amount of calories that you are burning and this is why those last 10 pounds are always a lot harder to peel off than the initial 10 pounds that you lose and the worst part here is that after you lose the weight that you want to lose and you go back now to eating what you think is your maintenance calories your maintenance now is far lower so the amount of calories that you need to eat now at the end of a weight loss diet in order to maintain your weight that amount of calories is going to be so much lower than the amount of calories that you needed to eat and maintain a higher body weight. So when you are weight reduced, meaning after you've lost the weight after a caloric deficit, when you are weight reduced, your metabolism has slowed down. It's called adaptive thermogenesis or metabolic adaptation. And so now you go back to eating what you think is your maintenance calories, but all of a sudden you realize the scale went up. And, it, and if you have access to body composition tests, you also notice you increased your body fat again so it's not just fluid retention or glycogen stores filling up it's actually body fat and that's because you should have done either diet breaks 
or reverse dieting. Diet breaks are periods of time in between your caloric deficits where let's say you're in a caloric deficit for two weeks, you're losing weight. What you want to do is then infuse a diet break for a week or two where you bring back calories a little bit higher, not too high to what you think your maintenance is. This is not going to be as high as you think, but a little bit higher to close to maintenance to allow your body a little bit of kind of like calmness so that it doesn't think that you're still starving. And that kind of counters a little bit the metabolic slowdown. So diet breaks are, can be very helpful if you do them and you infuse them periodically within your continuous weight loss diet. And then at the end, you also want to do a reverse diet, whereby after you've achieved your ideal body weight, we slowly, very slowly, increase the amount of calories day by day, week by week, and we monitor you every day. We monitor your body composition changes and we monitor your fasted scale weight to make sure we don't go back to regaining body fat just because we're raising calories a little bit. And this is going to be the way that you bring your calories back up again without regaining the weight that you have lost. Your body actually makes new fat cells if you we're in a caloric deficit and you went back and you went to maintenance or you binged for a few days, your body takes every extra calories that now it has access to after that maintenance phase or that binge and it deposits it and it even creates new fat cells to deposit that body fat in it. And so it's, it really becomes a very real problem the next time you want to lose that weight. It becomes harder and harder and harder. And so this is why it is critical to understand metabolic adaptation. It is critical to understand how to do a diet break or reverse diet. There is one more very helpful tip that you can use to speed up this process of, of uh, speeding up your metabolism, and that is by doing intense cardio and weightlifting. The stronger you get with weightlifting and the faster you get with the cardio or more intense you get with the cardio, all of those things are going to send signals, hormonal signals to your body to speed up its metabolism again and to put on lean mass. And that is going to bring back your maintenance calories back to a high level. You can literally go back to eating a thousand or 2000 extra calories than what you could eat at maintenance before you do this reverse diet versus after the reverse diet. So that allows you a lot more food freedom and allows you just to eat normally, just like everybody else while maintaining your new lower body fat levels. If you want to learn the basics of how to count your calories or what amount of calories would be ideal for you to start with if you want to lose weight and then how to reverse diet out of that, check out my dopamine body weight loss guide. I'm going to link it in the description box below. Also reach out if you need help one-on-one -on -one coaching, or even you can join my group coaching sessions. The details for that are going to be at the end of this YouTube video. And I will also post the links all of the links for the coaching um, in the description box below and again i want to remind you to check out ana luisa jewelry look how cute beautiful minimalistic progressive and long lasting their jewelry is check out my coupon so that you can get a discount and check out the description box below as well so that you can find their website and it has my um, discount code embedded in it so thank you again for Ana Luisa for always sending me their gorgeous jewelry. And uh, if you like this kind of content, make sure you give this YouTube video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.